So today for a mini mini stream earlier in the day we are doing the kind of at least this far from the first fishing simulator but kind of a at least spiritual predecessor of the later fishing games Gro Pilkkivits was more or less extremely popular in the Finland of late 90s to early 2000s being DOS based ice fishing game written in Turbo Pascal by two guys pretty much in their garage who went by the name Brokium Produ Productions being also avid fishermen in addition to the original Pro Pilkki they also did kind of a fish diary application that most probably didn't gain a by far as much attention for like logging your fishing and uh, the Twitch didn't even know about the original game it only had Pro Pilkki 2 as a category so when under that Pro Pilkki 2 is newer one that uses kind of a pseudo 3D game engine which has more or less isometric view with 3D ice fishing view this in turn as we will soon see is much much more simple it actually doesn't really have much much else graphics than up uh, directly upwards view view of the lake with some dots to mark the fissures and small uh, kind of a hand drawn view into the ice fishing situation itself so let's play a few short ice fishing contests in the game unlike Unlike the later fishing simulator, this one doesn't even have any equipment you could buy and has no money in it. They, they kind of had anti-commercial slant to their communications when you could actually, actually like some, some would ask in the FAQ like could you uh, add a shop and more equipment and they said like the shopkeeper is greedy and you, we do not really like the idea so it was kind of like they had pretty anti-commercial slant to their approach, which is of course commendable. So in the overall result, this game never implemented any kind of any kind of uh, shop or additional equipment. It has exact the few lures and the uh, maggot you fish with, but it has pretty detailed system for the lakes and the fish themselves. Uh, most of them are defined. So it's rather interesting in that sense. It's also mostly a game of skill. You have to choose your fishing spot well and then try and get, try and use the right kind of lure, lure for the fish you are trying to get. And some of the maps are actually rather difficult to get, get much, get much from fish wise. So let's start first short like we have the option for one ice fishing competition here so let's do that no ice fishing competition cup this time so and then there's the practice mode so let's start start here one competition and type type the name in for the high scores it keeps a list of the fish caught and then we get to choose the choose the lake and we can see the depth and we there's also the we, fish weighing area so it's like a actual fishing competition so you have to make your way to the fish weighing area before the timer runs runs out otherwise you get no score at all so we have to make our way here before the timer runs out and uh, here we see the kind of like depth depth map of the lake lake or the various small lakes so we, we need to know this to a degree so we know where to try and try and fish for different kinds of so let's try the very first this has quite a few quite a few lakes lakes available and all of them have some explanation like what what fish you might expect there they made additional lakes and lakes also at times so let's try the very 
first lake with A with a small additional lake. So this is kind of ice fishing rendition of St. Gino's lakes. And let's take 10, 10 minutes. And there we go. Contest, contest begins. So let's try the small lake here first. As we can see, it has very simple display of the players players here and they have kind of uh, the developers of the game are named and then we have here are the two developers of the game with their own names names and then apparently a friend of theirs and then there are kind of humorous names names additionally like fish thief here all right and let's drill with the auger at least claim do not know if it's true that if you spin the cursor around it drills faster with the auger there we go and the worm is well on the hook we can select different lures from here but let's use the basic one for now there we go and then we lift the fishing rod at times to get attention from the fish and here we see the single pixel with the indicator when it moves we should then withdraw the lure to see if a fish has been caught on it. We can also use binoculars to spy other fishers like this. So we see how they are doing. If they are, for example, getting a lot of fish, then we might want to move closer, closer to them. So we, we now seem to have some fish, or at least we temporarily had. So let's keep fishing and also hello to the viewer welcome to the stream we are doing the old school pro pilkki one ice fishing game for a few short ice fishing competitions so then we keep now and then lifting the Lure a bit to keep attention and see when a fish happens to catch on the maggot. This game is also rather calm comparatively, comparatively and uses only a bit of environmental audio when, when outside the menu, the menu has music proper, but it seems this might not be the spot, so let's lift and put our maggot correctly on the hook and move a bit. There we go, like walking, it also shows shows indicator for that and then we can drill a new hole on the ice and start fishing this game is comparatively quite difficult especially for the big fish you often can't get them at all, but they rather take your lure, lure away and then you have one lure less less for the rest of the game. There is a especially separate message for that, like Isove Pilkin. So like Big Fish took the lure all together. This is quite hard game in that respect also. The, it is telling that this, this has a separate tactics guide especially for like how to read the depth charts and how to best make use of the various lakes. So this is actually surprisingly complicated for 1990s game done in Turbo Pascal. We haven't yet yet actually caught anything, so let's 
let's try the main main body of water we should also replace the bait when it starts to get kind of pale because it's of course being frozen in the cold water and fish are much less interested in a less fresh bait so let's move move here to the somewhat lower depth part of the main body of water and drill a new hole might be that we do not rank very well in the competition because you, we haven't yet caught absolutely anything so let's try here This game also implemented network game in a very interesting fashion because it actually didn't uh, produce its own network code at all. How it worked was that it actually created a file share so you could use any networking solution for example Windows SMB share or anything else that could share the uh, ProPilki directory and then it would write game state in a file with like uh, coordinates and then using the file flags for the state of the fissure and run the game otherwise separately so that the clocks were not for example strictly synchronized it, uh, the 10 minute competition for example could last a different amount depending on the computer so it kind of run somewhat loosely synchronized uh, comparatively with, with that kind of a method, but it was robust towards running on anything that could make a file share. So the solution for the network game was uh, technically interesting in that respect. Also, it seems we are not even going to get any fish during the contest time. Let's see how our fate is doing and maybe move move again a bit at least the computer players have drilled quite a few holes the 2d view is also quite nicely implemented that it shows shows you uh, shows you moving and it leaves all the footprints a bit so you can see where the others have moved where they have drilled Especially for the time, it's a pretty nicely, nicely done game. Apparently catching fish in turn has proven to be somewhat of a challenge. Let's try, try a different lake for another contest next. And maybe even... Alright, we got caught something. 13 grams. Rough. This is like worst. This isn't even counted because it's considered by the contest a trash fish. So like, we caught a fish and it doesn't even qualify. So it's not very meaningful to run to the weigh-in because we don't have anything like worth, worth weighing. Considered zero value, value the kiski or rough. And now we have the indication that we should soon move for the way in, which isn't very useful as we won't, won't get any score, but let's go there anyway to kind of like correctly. And here we are at the way in for the contest
and we had zero way because they do not consider consider this at all valid fish <laughs> like yes 22 fish with two and a half kilograms we got zero and also they had almost a kilogram rainbow trout the computer is always very potent so let's try another one Let's try, let's try this, for example, for a bit different body of water. Again, a 10 minute competition. And let's try here first. Let's see if we have more luck here after the previous, like get one fish and even that is kind of trash. Alright, already some interest. Let's put the lure, lure back on well. And try for more. Right, 20 gram, <laughs> but that at least counts because it's not not a grass fish. And another 20 gram fish, at least there is a bit more fish here. The previous one was surprisingly difficult even. Do not remember it was quite that difficult. Let's check the bait and replace it. And unlike the ice fishing in the fishing simulator, here they are at least alright and then we again got the trash, trash fish. Let's try a bit more from this hole and then move. At least there's something down there. Twelve grams, but it's more than zero. 
All right, we have almost half the competition time still left, so we can move move a bit further away from the way in. Let's replace bait and move move out. A bit of a nice wintry walk. Let's see if there is anything to be brought up here. At least not much, much reaction here yet. This place doesn't seem very fruitful. Let's test a bit further, further down here. So let's see how it works, works for us here. Alright, and there was nothing nothing on the hook anymore, but the bait was displaced, so at least there was a fish nibbling at it. Alright, 77 grams, that's already a pretty big fish for this game, so let's keep keep doing this hold for a while. Again, one of the trash, trash fish. Let's replace bait. About one minute, so let's start towards the way in about 30 seconds. Let's 
last minute fish maybe or not not going to happen so let's go to the way in at least we have something to weigh in this time. One hundred twenty nine grams of qualifying fish, and we didn't come last even actually. Like a really big, like yes, twenty one fish or three and a half kilograms, almost one kilogram fish. We, we at least came, came only second to last, so that's an improvement. Let's go for another one. This game was actually popular enough that they even held, held like Finnish championship competitions for this game, game until 2014 or something like that. Let's try the kind of river, river one next. So we have various parts of the river. Try and fish from. Ten minutes competition and start fishing. Immediately some fish. At least the more for Twitch start. Not, a, not too bad. Let's put the bait back in place and try for more.
let's drive for one minute more at this hole and then move maybe down downstream a bit. Let's check the bait and replace. Let's move. Try here. Here, maybe. see how how this place works works for us Clearly this is not the place. Let's try here out of interest. A bit of a walk, but the way in is here, so we can put some effort still into it and create one of the riders of the game on the way there. There we go. Still three minutes remaining, so let's try and fish this this hole for some time. Don't seem this very useful. This guy has been quite a while here, so let's try out of interest that side because it's closer to the way in so So let's 
drill here and see what happens happens here in turn. Alright, 15 grams, not much, but it's more fish. Reset the bait and go. We still have some fishing time left before we need to go for way in. 12 grams, but it's again more fish. Starts to be time to go for the way in. And made it made it with seconds to spare, so that was kind of optimal performance. Seventy five grams of fish. Quite easily last like not surprisingly 1.3 kilograms that's really good this this had only like four eight eight fish but they were pretty large so let's try one more and then conclude the stream Let's try this one. So we could either go to the deep water or stay in the center center there. So let's try the Kuluntalahti. Many of these are modeled after. Here we also have the dock. It moves randomly. So let's try somewhere here. You can also sometimes hear dock noises when you go. The dock moves like with random, random walk. Oh, another viewer, welcome to the stream. So the dock moves here. About. So let's again drill a hole and see about some fish. And immediately the rough, which is kind of trash because they do not take it. Take it into count in the vein.
let's check the fade. Right, still pretty good. So let's try moving somewhere here. And create the dock on the way there. And drill the hole. There seems to be something nibbling on the bait, so let's replace it and try try to get them up in addition to the Eden bait. Doesn't seem we are getting much, much fish here, so let's move in a while. Right, fish. 26 grams, not like major, major size, but let's try for a moment and then move closer to the way in already. Right, another fish. At least someone took the bait. Alright, let's move somewhere here and try a bit more and create the create the guy with small fish synthi upko. We are now pretty close to the way in, so have some good fishing time still.
not much, much happening. Let's try a bit different spot. A bit of walking and then drilling. takes only like five seconds to make it to the way in from here so we can, it's pretty late if we were getting getting much much here let's try group hugging these guys are they getting any fish there in the very corner fish pile Promising nibble, but no fish, so let's go to the way in if we make it, yes. And with the second despair. 26 grams, the single fish we got. And still we did better than one. We got two of the rough, which are kind of like simply not considered for the way in. All right. Two things. That was that was it for the for the pro pro build. It also keeps a list of records like the largest largest fish of each type from each each lake. So you can have records also. With that, we conclude the conclude the stream. Hopefully you enjoyed the old school fishing simulator and that's pretty much what there is to the gameplay overall so it's pretty nice nice simple simple fishing game and we will see later today with the hunter so see you a bit later in the evening <laughs>